while in the communist country for their four-day visit, the couple could meet some of Cuba's most celebrated music stars. At a Havana recording studio, the prince and his wife may meet members of the Buena Vista Social Club, although details are yet to be finalized. The group became worldwide celebrities when their 1997 album became a surprise global hit and Grammy Award winner. Other highlights of the Cuban trip will see the couple meet Havana owners of the famous vintage cars still running in the capital, although these will be British classics. There are no plans for the royal couple to meet Raul Castro, the brother of Cuba's former communist leader Fidel Castro who died in 2016, but they will be guests of honor at an official dinner hosted by the country's president Miguel Diaz Canel. Scott Fursett and Wood, the royal couple's deputy private secretary, said they were visiting the country at the request of the British government. He added, the prince and the duchess's visit will highlight cultural and academic connections, links between the people of the UK and Cuba, and explore key themes, such as the arts, youth entrepreneurship, heritage restoration and sustainable agriculture. Charles met Cuba's president in November last year at his London home, Clarence House, when the foreign leader visited the UK with a delegation of senior ministers. The couple's 13-day tour of the Caribbean will begin on March 17 and see the couple travel to St. Lucia Barbados, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, St. Kitts and Nevis Grenada and the Cayman Islands, with the Cuban leg beginning on March 24. They finish duties on March 28 and will land back in Britain on March 29, the day the UK is set to leave the European Union.